questions to ask your ram breeder about worms. In general, the tolerance of the New Zealand ewe flock for worms has actually dropped since the mid-1990s as we've pushed productivity traits such as reproduction and growth. If you visit the Animal Genetics page on the Wormwise website, you'll see an illustration of, of this change. But also on this page, you'll see that breeders who've been selecting for worm traits for a long time have actually produced ewes that not only have better, much better worm tolerance than the average, but they're also ahead of the average New Zealand stud flock for the key maternal traits as well. So this is awesome. What do you, though, need to ask your ram breeder to make sure that you're on track for both worm tolerance and high production? There's two things you need to know. One is what are they measuring, and two is what are they doing with that data? Traits that breeders can measure are faecal egg count, worm feck, uh, Carla, the saliva test, and also DAG score. Culling for DAGs is one thing, but recording DAG score back against the parents is a great way to provide better pedigree information for animals and their progeny that are remaining DAG free throughout their lives, and that's where we all want to be. Top animals will have great values for parasite traits and also good figures for growth. Breeders should be able to clearly articulate a direction for where they're going with these parasite traits. They should also be using the rams that have the best parasite traits in a big way across their flock. There's no point in collecting this information if those genetics aren't then contributing to the next generation. They may also be buying in rams from other health-focused breeders to give them extra lifts in these parasite traits, and that's a good thing. Another thing you should ask them is what's the parasite management policy in the ewe flock? That's both the studs and the commercials. A flock that's been drench free for 20, 25 years is likely to have a quite a different level of worm tolerance to one that only stopped using capsules in their ewes a few years ago. So it's good to ask that question. What's being done in the commercial flock should ideally be reflected in what's being done in the stud as well. If your ram breeder can show you a clear direction and clear progress around parasite traits, you will follow on their coattails. And if you apply the wormwise messages and great ewe feeding along with a good genetic package, you'll be on a winning track.